suck it. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you? I hope you are doing well. Let me check this to make sure I can see everybody. Hold on a second. It is Saturday. So good morning to you. Um, it's 8 a.m. here in Utah. This is my last uh, full day in Utah. And then I will be... Um, I will be uh, heading home tomorrow. So I'm super, super excited to, to spend one more day here. We've had a fabulous time just uh, learning so much about our businesses and um, different ways to move forward to help our customers. So I'm super glad to be here. Okay, so it's, it's on the page now. We are good. All right, so who's here on a Saturday morning? Anybody here with me yet? Let's see. Go ahead and tell me who's here and joining me. So today's verse um, is in Acts. So it is uh, Acts um, 319, and I use what I call the BLESS method, if you're new here. It's a system that I came up with when I realized I was following the same exact way of writing my devotionals every morning. So I came up with an acronym for it, and I call it the BLESS method. And the B stands for the Bible verse. The L stands for listening for God's voice and praying. The E stands for exploring the history um, and the meaning of the verse, who wrote it, uh, where it was written, different things like that. The first S stands for studying and savoring um, the words and the key words that are in the scripture. And the last one is summarize and, and a little, little mini devotional about how it applies to your life. So for today, we're going to start with the Bible verse, which is Acts 3, 19, and it says, Repent then and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. Will you please pray with me? Heavenly Father, I ask you to give me the strength to turn away from my sins and draw closer to you, so that my experience, so that I can experience your peace and your everlasting love. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so exploring the history of this, so Acts uh, was written by Luke, who was a physician, physician, a doctor, a physician, a companion of the Apostle Paul. He wasn't one of the original 12 disciples, and sometimes you think because he's Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, you know, and Luke is in there, you think that he must have been one of the disciples, and he was not one of the original 12, but most likely he was one of the 70 that were appointed after Jesus appointed the next disciples, and he mostly followed Paul. So the book of Acts is a historical account of the Christian early church, and it was describing the spread of the gospel from Jerusalem to Rome. And it's believed that Luke wrote this in about 60 to 90 AD. So this particular verse is a sermon that was given by the apostle Peter to a group of people in Jerusalem who had been gathering at the temple. And in this sermon, Peter is preaching about the power of Jesus to forgive the sins and to heal the sick. So he calls on the crowd and tells them they need to repent. They need to turn to God so that their sins can be wiped out and they may experience the refreshing times of the Lord. And the audience in this sermon is mostly Jewish people who are already familiar with the temple and all of the Jewish religious customs and practices. So it's written in, like I said, the early Christian community. Whoops, let me turn this air conditioner off just a second. <laughs> it was uh, written in the early Jewish community to the Jewish people and the Gentiles. And it is a call to repentance. Um, and it's an invitation to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. So the study, when you're studying the different words and the keywords, the main ones that turned, um, you know, came to me were first was to repent. What does repent mean? And it means to feel sorry for, to regret your past con conduct, um, and to feel remorse for it. Turn to God, to change your direction, to do a 180, to change your focus and turn it to God. Sins may be wiped out. That means to be forgiven and have the guilt and the penalty of sin removed. Times of refreshing. 
doesn't that just sound good? <laughs> it's a period of renewed energy or spirit or interest. And it's a time when you can be rejuvenated from the Lord. All right. So summarizing this all up. So Acts 319 is, is such a, a powerful reminder that we need to turn to God to experience the forgiveness for all of our past mistakes. And it's, enc it's encouraging us to repent, which means feel remorse, to regret what we've done. And one pa practical way we can do this in our daily lives is by taking time every day to reflect on our actions and ask yourself, are there areas in which I need to repent? Did I say anything, any hurtful words to someone, to a loved one, or to someone I didn't even know in the checkout line or anything like that that could have caused them harm? And then once we identify those areas, we can take the steps to either make amends, ask for forgiveness from them, and ask for forgiveness from God. So you've got to remember that repentance isn't a one-time act. You can't just be mean to somebody today, ask for forgiveness, and then you're forgiven for every time in the future that you say something mean to somebody. It's an ongoing process. You've got to constantly be turning away from your sins and turning to God. So we need to strive to make this a daily practice every day for, for, by confessing your sins. And when we do that, we will open ourselves up to such a time of refreshing from God. And it can be such a great feeling, a, a great time of renewing our lives every single day. So as believers, we know we need to turn to God we know we need to confess our sins to experience forgiveness. So we need to, like I said, make it a daily practice every single day. So I pray that you will follow these words of Acts 319 and use them for your, your daily life. It will make your day go so much better. Believe me. <laughs> Good morning, Melinda. Thank you for joining me today. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, everyone. I'm so glad. If you're watching this on replay, please type in replay so that we know that you saw it. Like the video so that we know that you are watching them. And um, I will be off tomorrow on Sunday. I like to take Sundays off. And actually, tomorrow I will be traveling back home. So I'll see you bright and early on Monday morning. Thank you for joining me and have a very, very blessed day. Bye-bye.